Hello, 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 my loves. I am pulling some cards for the full moon energy because this full moon seems to be very potent with the energy of being able to release some habits, some behaviors, some patterns, bringing awareness to these things and just letting things go. So I wanted to use my own deck and looks like actually I can... In the corner here, I can see my signature was showing up there. So I feel like this full moon is all about us. It's about us looking at ourselves. So let's see what the current full moon energy is overall. Oh, yeah. Very um, consistent with kind of what I'm picking up, trying to get my cards here straight. Healing and inner power. This full moon is all about reclaiming our power inside. Looking at healing. What are the things within us that's working? What are the things that are not working? What is it that we can be working on? Like today for me, you know, I am, um, my daily post today was talking about the fact that we make decisions literally all day long. And those decisions that we continuously make and the actions that we take they're going to dictate whether we're moving towards our goals or away from them. And so today, like I woke up with this whole new energy of I've eaten like crap the last couple of days and I feel it <laughs> And today. It was like, no more. I'm all done. So we feel like there's a lot of release work that's happening within us so that we can heal. We can treat ourselves well and we can connect to our inner power because if I'm continuously doing things that drain me and don't make me feel good, then I have no power. I'm giving it away and I'm not able to be as, um, trying to think of the right words. Uh, I apologize. I have a bit of COVID brain still left in there and uh, I struggle trying to find the appropriate words for the uh, situations I'm trying to relay at this particular point in time. So I appreciate your patience with me. <laughs> um, but basically, I'm able to tap back into my my power and where it is that I can harness my energy in a appropriate and productive and healthy way. So that is the overall energy. And apparently it's not just for me if these cards are coming out. <laughs> now, what challenges are arising right now during this full moon? Let your heart sing. Are you doing any of the things that you love to do for yourself? That's something sometimes it's really easy to get away from. Sometimes we get bogged down with the responsibilities of life and we just forget to make time to have fun and just let ourselves do that. So that is a challenge that's arising and it's a really worthwhile challenge to look at and take the time to do what makes your heart sing because it makes you magnetic and more good things actually come to you when you're in that flow state. What's being illuminated? What's the hidden truth? Gratitude. So you might be finding yourself in a really pessimistic mindset at times and you might be finding yourself like, oh, this economy sucks and uh, when you start getting into politics, things get pretty heated and you, know, you might be looking at the negatives there, looking in other people's lanes of like, man, you're so wrong because of like, there's a lot of frustration and hatred being put out in the world. However, where your power also is, notice these backgrounds are very similar. Where's your inner power? Gratitude. Focusing on the things in your world that are going right instead of wasting all of your energy and letting it siphon from you by looking at all of the things that are going on in the world that you have literally no control over and put it back into gratitude. What is something today that you're grateful for? And if you start your day with gratitude and end your day with gratitude, it's like you're able to actually shift your energy in such a big way. You're not festering on that negative stuff and growing more of that. You're actually growing more into your life of things that you have to be grateful for and things that are beautiful. So that is a challenge right now is to look at the things that you're grateful for, but it's a worthwhile challenge. What needs to be worked on right now? Listen to your heart and spiritual teacher. 
So those two cards, it, <laughs> when I pulled this one, it was actually the second card down. So I knew that this one needed to come out with it. I tried to avoid it for a second there, but it was not happening. <laughs> so listen to your heart and spiritual teacher. What do you need to work on? Doing exactly that, connecting to yourself and your inner power. And there might be other teachers that come into your life that show you how they've done it. And that is a good place for you to be able to get some wisdom to come in and allow you to do that work on yourself so that you can connect to your heart and really get back to the core essence of who you are. And that's a loving heart too. It's not an angry, negative heart that you're going to be connecting to so you can listen actually better to move into a better place. What needs to be released? Journey. That's really interesting. So maybe you have thought that you're in the middle of a path and you are traveling down this road and you thought that it was going to end up leading you maybe over here. And you get to this place, nothing's clear, and it's not safe for you to proceed. Maybe you're actually being protected from where it is that you want to go because it's not safe or it's not in your best and highest, greatest good. So maybe you've started down a path that at this point it's time to diverge from. And that doesn't necessarily mean you need to diverge forever. Maybe you just need to wait until the clouds clear and then you can go back on your way. But have patience and let go of forcing everything to move forward at this particular point in time because it will not serve your highest and greatest good if you keep moving forward what opportunity is arising life lessons this is all about basically going back to the drawing board so maybe you don't sit there and wait for the clouds to clear up maybe you go back to the beginning and go okay where do i go next or how can i do this in a better way moving forward how can, or sorry, what can I invite into my life? Love. And it's reversed. So what can you invite into your life? I feel like it's not love from other people because these are two hearts that are disconnected here in the middle. So that could be one of two things. Could be that you could actually invite true love into your life where there is no more separation and it's truly just some type of a beautiful union and things coming together in a very good, equal, beautiful way. But on the other hand, it also could be just love coming from yourself. That's what you can invite into your life. Finding your inner power, listening to your heart, the fact that the love comes over there and it's listening to your heart, maybe it's time for you to just step back to regroup and to allow you to connect to your own heart and listen. What is it that I want going into my life? What's the lunar lesson right now? Okay, forgiveness also reversed. So I feel like there is some type of a situation that it's like it's blocking your heart off and there needs to be forgiveness given. And it's not for the other person because a lot of times, um, sometimes it's our perceived perception of what exactly happened, but there's also this facet of a lot of times we get hurt and it's not our fault and it wasn't okay, and it isn't something that should ever really be accepted. However, if you continue to hold on to and harbor that festering resentment and anger, all it really is, it's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It's keeping that poison and that energy very present in your system. And so the lunar lesson right now is to be able to try and flip into love and forgiveness and allow yourself to move into a whole new energy and um, what's coming through for me is the Hapona Ono meditation and this is something that you might be able to look up on YouTube where you know there's just these four phrases that are repeated uh, I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you and just repeating these over and over and over again I can tell you that like my the first time I did this, the most profound forgiveness that 
I was given um, through this process was like somebody I had totally forgotten about and it was a terrible thing that had happened and it absolutely was not my fault. And going through this, that's what came up and it was like I just cried, <laughs> was able to let that go and see things from a different perspective to be able to stop um, hiding that within myself and continuing to poison myself. So um, that is an opportunity that you're being given at this time. Is there anything that should be avoided at this time? Ooh, perspective change. So this is a picture of this being forwards, but then in the middle, it's upside down. So it's like, your perception at this point in time maybe isn't something that can be trusted because maybe you're looking at it through a lens that's actually flipping the entire situation on its head and making things seem much worse or much different than what they actually are. So something you should avoid is absolutes at this point in time because as you do this healing, maybe there's something in your heart that needs healing and it's something that really clouds your judgment on everything going forward. It's like it taints your vision. You're looking through these lenses that have that debris on the front of them so it blocks your actual view any last messages seize the moment take the opportunity to do this work and to connect to yourself your inner light and just be in the moment be present in the moment enjoy what's around you be grateful for the beauty that's around you because that's also how you connect to your light and it's how you shine and let other people see who you are and not only who you are but sometimes the work that you're doing in this process is meant to be shared with others because it helps them connect to their light as well so don't feel like you need to keep everything to yourself maybe you don't need to share it with everyone maybe there's just certain people that you're being guided to share this with um, but if you do feel the call share away but primarily connect to your own light and allow yourself to look at the beauty that surrounds you and is all around you in life because it's absolutely there so that's what i've got for you my loves i hope you are well and i'll talk to you soon Thank you.